Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have new Windows 11 builds to look at, not just build this time. We'll be looking at 23403 and 25314. So 23403 is for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. That's the new dev channel, which is actually lower build numbers than the old dev channel, used for Windows 11 testing. I've got a separate video explaining about these rings if, and these channels if you want to check that out. So that's the old one, or the old dev channel, now got to, uh, lower build numbers in. And this is a Canary build, 25314, which is the higher build numbers, which was the range the old dev channel was in. So Canary is going to be used for testing things for future developments. Um, so, it win so Windows 11 will be tested here. Windows uh, future versions can be tested there. Look, my little joke there about Windows 12 Canary. That's n <laughs> not because I know anything. It's just I thought that would be... Uh, funny, right? Okay, so what's changed in this build? Let's first have a look at the uh, 23403, and actually, they share most of the changes, which is why I'm doing both of them at the same time. Microsoft added some access keys, so when you use the menu button on the on a file, you get the accessibility shortcuts. I'm not seeing those when I do the menu button on a file. I get um, so when I do it, I just get the old style menu. So. There's some additional languages as well uh, for um, the live caption feature as well. So like Chinese, French, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish. That is on both builds as well. Okay, another thing that they've introduced on both builds, but I'm again not seeing because of A-B testing, is file recommendations in uh, File Explorer. So if you're in here, as well as quick access, you would see recommendations rather than just recent so that's coming to both builds as well that links up with an active directory account okay so the other changes uh with this build so when you click on a win 32 app like this office if you click on uninstall it takes you to the settings to uninstall the app now that's a a, a new change um they fixed some issues with file explorer uh we're jumping around to the foreground as well um and they fixed some issues with File Explorer jumping around to the foreground. There are some known issues with this build as well. Um, access keys are inconsistent, as you've just, uh, as you just see. I can't get them to work at all. Um, there are some issues with live captions, especially on ARM devices, and uh, some voice access issues. So those are the main changes with this uh, with this build. If I go across to the other build. This is the Canary build, and there's not a huge amount of change in this one either. The file, the access ones, which we talked about, recommended file, um, local security authentication or authority uh, protects and helps uh, protect against the theft of credentials um, for logons by preventing unauthorized code from running LSA. So um, that's built into it. That's a technical thing, but that's a, a good security thing. There's some other changes that the uh, remote mail slot protocol has been disabled. You can re-enable that if you want as well. Now with these Canary builds, Microsoft aren't detailing all the changes. They not, may not even do blog posts, so they're not detailing all the changes in the build. So we may have to watch out for some new features coming into here. Like I said, these are features that may come in the future. So those are the highlights I want to show you on these two uh, uh, builds. Hopefully next week we'll get into um, new things on each video uh, or each build and I can do separate videos on them. But anyway, that's a quick look at the two builds today. You can find out more about the changes on our YouTube channel and on the